Bobby Mackey's Music World, Tear at Hell's Gate. Bobby Mackey's Music World is located in Walder, Kentucky, and was once a slaughterhouse. It all began with Pearl Bryan, who was decapitated by Scott Jackson, her boyfriend, and his accomplice, Alonzo Welling. Authorities chased them and were able to find them at Bobby Mackey's. Johanna, who was a singer at Bobby Mackey's, was pregnant by Robert Randall. Robert Randall was murdered by Johanna's father once he found out. Johanna poisoned her father and afterward committed suicide. Some accounts that happened at Bobby Mackey's includes Janet Mackey being attacked by a ladder. Zach Vegans was scratched by a demonic spirit while doing the episode of Ghost Adventures. One of the caretakers has reported seeing Alonzo Walling and was able to identify the man. Based on the accounts that happened at Bobby Mackey's, I don't believe that there are ghosts because the incidents that occurred there can be easily recreated and made up. My beliefs based solely on Bobby Mackey's music world is that it's real because of Zach Bagan's attack by an evil spirit on Ghost Adventures. Based on the accounts of Bobby Mackey's, I do not believe in the accounts because they could be easily made up for attention and because the music hall is used as a tourist attraction, which helps support that I do not believe in it. Bobby Mackey's Music World, said to be one of the most haunted nightclubs in the U.S. It all began with Pearl Bryan, who was decapitated by Scott Jackson, and his accomplice, Alonzo Walling. Authorities chased them and were able to find them at Bobby Mackey's. Although Pearl's full head was never found, a piece was discovered in a well at none other than Bobby Mackey's. Scott Jackson and Alonzo Walling were hung and swore that they would haunt Bobby Mackey's forever. Another case would be with Johanna, a singer at Bobby Mackey's. Johanna was pregnant by Robert Randall. Once her father found out, Robert Randall was murdered. And when Johanna found out, she poisoned her father and afterward committed suicide. Many patrons of Bobby Mackey's have said to have seen both ghosts, as well as Alonzo and Scott, as well as others. We were lucky to catch up with some of the people who have been to Bobby Mackey's and want to share their stories. So one night I was at Bobby Mackey's and I stayed after to clean up the glasses and one of the glasses was thrown at me and when I turned around there was no one there. So uh, I was cleaning up at Bobby Mackey's the other day and all of a sudden these chairs just started moving everywhere and uh, nobody was there to push them or, or it was just amazing. I don't know what was causing it. Pretty incredible actually. Bobby Mackey's Music World. I've been there and I remember sitting at the bar. I say she because I think it was a female figure. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I looked over. I looked back, and my drink was knocked over. I'll never go back to that place. Now we will show you interviews of regular students and they will state whether they believe the story or they do not. So in 1896, there was a girl named Pearl Bryan who was decapitated by Alonzo Walling and Scott Jackson but her head was never found, and part of the skull, however, was found in the well at Bobby Mackey. As well as there was a woman named Johanna who was pregnant by Robert Randall. Robert Randall was murdered by Johanna's father, and Johanna poisoned her father and then committed suicide. And since then, people have had accounts in which their ghosts have attacked them with ladders and pushed them downstairs at Bobby Mackey's. So do you see um, do you believe that all this happens, or do you see any loopholes or anything? It could be, it could be a couple of coincidences. I mean, it might not be real. I, mean, I really don't know. I'm not a ghost expert, but it might be just. I think it's just a big coincidence. And why do you say that? Because I don't really believe in supernatural that much. So what you're saying is that since you're a person who doesn't necessarily believe in these things, there's always another explanation to it. Exactly. Okay. In 1996, there was a woman named Pearl Bryan who was decapitated and her head was never found, although a piece was found at Bobby Mackey's in the well. And they say her ghost still haunts the place. As well, there was a woman named Johanna 
who was who poisoned her father and committed suicide, who was a singer at Bobby Mackey's. And people have had accounts that these ghosts have been seen and haunted them and have literally physically abused them. And we are wondering if, whether you believe this or not. Whether it's possible that they haunt the place. That they haunt the place? Possible? I mean, nothing's impossible. The likelihood that, you know, they committed suicide and they're going to haunt the place? I don't know about that. You know, it, it, it's... I'm not sure. And there has been a count in which Johanna has attacked, or sadly attacked, one of the co-owners of the place, Janet Mackey. Do you think that's all Um, I think there's more of a tourist trap sort of thing, but who knows? I mean, they could be seeing things, but whether or not they're actual ghosts or not, they could be acid flashbacks from the 70s. Thank you. Given the same story, do you believe whether it's real or not? Um, I don't believe in ghosts. And why do you not believe in ghosts? Like, even given the story, do you think, what do you think the loopholes were? I think somebody was dressed up as a ghost and they did it to physically abuse him so that they wouldn't be charged up. So then why do you believe that people would make up these stories? Attention. To this day, people still claim to see the ghosts and it is still a tourist attraction for many.